For years, people have been telling stories, and some of the most interesting ones are those that talk about the paranormal. While on Reddit, I got talking to someone who told me an incredible story. They revealed that they were a former US Marine, and while stationed in California, something happened that changed their life. He said the following, I wanted to share my story with you as I've not opened up about this before, and I'm interested to see what people make of it. Since it happened, I've tried to make sense of it, but at the time I didn't open up about it because I know I would have been ridiculed. I won't go into too much detail, but at the time of the encounter, I was stationed in California. The encounter happened during a military exercise. We were dropped into the nearby forest. Around 20 minutes into the exercise, I'd split up from my group, but I could see them off into the distance. As I started to catch up to them, a loud knock caught my attention. The noise came from my left. The first thing I thought was that someone threw something at me. It turned out though that the loud thud wasn't created by an object hitting the ground, but rather by something. As I looked through the trees, I could see the outline of what looked like a large human. At this point, I would say I was around 80 meters from whatever this thing was so I couldn't work out what exactly I was looking at. Again though, I heard the loud thud, but this time I could see that this thing in the distance was creating it. It had hold of a thick branch that I'd guess was around four feet in length, and a few feet in circumference. After slowly moving towards the direction of the noise, I could see what appeared to be a humanoid-like creature. This thing stood approximately seven feet tall, and each time I inch closer, it would hit the nearby tree with a branch in its hand, sending echoes throughout the forest. This time though, I bolted it in the direction of my team, and I didn't look back. As I said, I've never told anyone this story, but I'm certain of what I saw. It's tough because I keep going over that day, and I know how far-fetched it sounds, but I know exactly what I saw. What I found interesting though is that after scrolling through Reddit and reading up on those that spent time in the military, a lot of them have experienced strange stuff that they can't explain. Although the majority of their stuff centers around the paranormal, it made me feel a little better that I wasn't the only one that had a strange experience. End quote. Many stories have come to the surface over the years involving Bigfoot with eyewitnesses saying that enough people have encountered this cryptid that sightings should be taken more seriously. There have been many reported sightings of a massive legendary creature known as Bigfoot all over the world. They are mostly sighted in remote areas, sometimes in urban areas and very rarely in city parks. However, the most unlikely place you would think to see a Bigfoot is near a military base yet some researchers have argued that there's been more reports of Bigfoot being sighted by military personnel than civilians. Throughout the years, there have been a few reports that have been leaked from military installations, mostly those around the 1970s. By far the most notable and most credible is that of an encounter near Fort Lewis in the US. This is an army military installation in Washington State, which is in the middle of a rather large wooded area. The year was 1978. A truck full of soldiers coming back from training exercises broke down at around 8pm. Attempts were made to restart the engine, but nothing worked. So the platoon headed off to the base on foot to bring back a tow truck. They left one Edwin Godoy to guard the truck until the tow truck arrived. He was left because he was the one who sent the truck out. Edwin spent hours by himself just sitting in the trunk. He was bored, but this evening would soon perk up. At around midnight, he began to hear strange sounds from the forest that the road cut through. The sounds continued to get louder and closer, prompting Edwin to get out of the truck, arming himself with a rifle and a flashlight. As he stood in front of the trunk, sweeping the sides of the woods with his flashlight, he caught a glimpse of a large object moving directly in front of his trunk. It was a tall, broad creature entirely covered in hair that walked by swinging its body sideways. 
When Edwin shined his light at it, it stopped in its tracks and stared directly at him. They locked eyes for a short time before the creature began to run at him at a baffling quick speed. He shouted three times for the creature to stop and identify itself. However, the beast didn't reply and got close enough to cause harm to Edwin. Gripped with fear, he shot the creature in the chest. This barely stopping the speed of the animal, it merely growled, grabbed its chest and turned to the right and went back into the forest. In a few seconds, it was gone. After a long and fearful night, the mechanics finally arrived. After Edwin conveyed what happened, they were quite sceptical until one spotted the blood trail that led to the massive footprints pressed into the nearby soft ground. Shortly after, a radio call was made to the base explaining what had happened. The area was swamped by secretive government scientists and hazardous material suits. These researchers then began taking blood samples and setting casts of the footprints. The whole time Edwin was told not to speak to anyone, and was kept away from what was going on. After a short time, Edwin was quickly taken away to the base hospital. But surprisingly, instead of being examined by the base's medical staff, he was examined by a doctor from the Air Force that held the rank of full colonel. Years later, Edwin went on to reveal in an interview after the event had been declassified, that rather than interrogating him, the colonel was very interested in every slight detail of the event. After which Edwin was returned to his barracks, and told in no circumstances was he to tell anyone what happened. So what do you make of these interesting stories? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.